does talent differ from genius? Talent is a good starting point. Yeah. Uh, but talent can be mediocre. It can be little. But when the word genius comes in, you say, no, no, it could be extreme. Yeah. Yeah. It might be dangerous. Yeah. It might be overwhelming. Yeah. It might be scary. Like my talent is like, you know, kindergarten. You know, the ABCs. <laughs> can you sing the ABCs? <laughs> That's the beginning. <coughs> So the talent is uh, a seed, uh, a seed point. That you have the talent, the interest to sing or play or dance or skate or play marbles, which is what I did, and play marbles, play the tops. <laughs> Just do roller skating um, contests back on the street, on the block. Uh, it's a race on bikes, go down these steep hills like wackos. <laughs> go bats out of hell. <laughs> My mother's so concerned. <laughs> You're not going on that crazy hill, are you? <laughs> I don't want to catch a fail there. <laughs> don't worry, Mom. We have it under control. No crazy riding bikes down that hill. Don't worry. <laughs> so pushing the extremes is part of this process. It's also the same in science. <clears throat> you have to explore, you have to push the limits. You have to go beyond established boundaries if you, you're going to be making a certain kind of contribution. See, because what, what exists is the starting point in every case. So it's the status quo or the norm. We need to push that. See, to make things easier, make things better, to make things cheaper in a certain way, more accessible to people, uh, reach more people beings, help other beings. So then you have to have that altruistic motivation in some cases. Where just playing for yourself, for your own personal self-interest is not going to amount to very much, except it'll be amusing, maybe self-entertaining, but you got to push it in order to go beyond that to become something significant, important, or to be heard, or create interest in and that's one way of doing it. I've created a lot of disinterest. <laughs> as soon as I play, people are disinterested. <laughs> they say, uh-oh, not him again. Come in. And then you would say, oh. is, a, is a good sign mm. to not be satisfied with, uh, you know, well, certain things you're studying. Yeah. Yes, of course, but we're not talking about hating yourself. Yeah. We're not talking about that. We're talking about being sane yeah. and measuring what you're doing, having a sense of proportion and purpose regarding what you do. Right? Know what people like, so you know what not to play, <laughs> 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 or what to play, right? And so uh, it's good to know who you're serving, when, and what it is that it requires of you in order to warrant a payment, right? So that's the uh, culture of business relative to art, right? You get paid for what you do and you want to hope the people appreciate it. Right? So if you know what the club is interested in, then you know, you know what the, the thing is. You know what the deal is. You go there and you play and you get paid for it and you go home and you, you, know, you have a few bucks in your, in your wallet, perhaps. See? And so that, that's what it is in the beginning. It's uh, an exchange system. So you play to enter the exchange system. See? If you go deeper, then that fades out. And it's not about that, that level of exchange. Then it's about you on you. See? And you go deeper, it's about you on the spirit, you on that. You go deeper than that, it's, it's you do or die. Oh no, excuse me, I have a better one. You do and die. Yeah, that seems better. You gotta do it to die. 